welcome back to another studio vlog slash tutorial. Today we are doing memo pads. This is our first release of memo pads. I have designed five mini and regular size memo pads, so there will be ten in total, and we're going to go through like the designing, printing, and assembling process we're going to take the listing photos and put it up on Etsy. Today's vlog will be tutorial styled so you guys can follow along and make your own notepad. All the materials you will need is paper, glue, and scissors and a paper cutter, Cricut, and a printer are optional. The first thing we're going to do is open up Procreate and select a square canvas and then select the background color that you would like. Please keep in mind you do not need Procreate to do this process, you can scan your original artworks. So I'm just adding a few lines that I've drawn previously and then uploading my drawings. So this is going to be a fruit theme so I uploaded a watermelon and a lemon. And then I'm just adding a few details. Next I'm going to open up Cricut and then upload the images and format it to the size I want which is 3 by 3 inches and then six fit on one page, so I'm going to attach that and print it. Keep in mind you do not need a Cricut machine, you can just print it and cut it with a paper cutter. This is how the first print turned out and I'm very happy with the quality. We're gonna go back to the Cricut design space, select laser copy paper, unlining the printed paper with the Cricut mats and inserting into the Cricut machine. And then while that's cutting, it does take a while, I'm going to take another mat and start repeating the same process. One tip is to always flip the mat over and bend the mat so the paper stays straight. And that way the papers are not damaged and the metal pad stays as good quality as possible. Next, I'm going to go ahead and upload a 6 inch by 4 inch page. For these longer pages, I will add more lines and I'm going to implement 3 images instead of 2. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling the mini pad that we made previously. So I'm just adding a piece of scrap paper to the front and back so the clips do not destroy the paper and the glue does not seep over. So I'm just taking a matte Mod Podge. You can use any type of glue and a sponge with a paper towel. So I'm just taking a little bit and applying a very thin coat to the top of the memo pad. And then I'm going to go ahead and press that together and then if there's excess you can always wipe it off with the paper towel. I'm going to keep doing this until there's about 5 layers and make sure it dries for about 10 minutes in between each layer. Another tip is to add a small clip after you're done gluing so the paper stays firm together. After 4-5 to five layers, I'm going to take off the clips, make sure the glue is 100% dry, and then I'm going to slowly peel off the front and backing layers to reveal the memo pad. I'm so happy with how this pad turned out, the squares are exactly the same size and it looks very professional. Now all we have to do is press it, so I'm putting it in between two layers of scrap paper and putting a flat surface so the weight distributes evenly and just putting my fabrics on top. After printing out our regular size notebook design, I will repeat the exact same process by sticking it onto the Cricut mat and alternating between sticking, peeling, and cutting with the Cricut. Again, if you don't have a Cricut, that is totally fine. You will just need a paper cutter or just a pair of scissors. Although using a Cricut is a little bit longer than if you just use a paper cutter, I prefer using the Cricut because it gives me 100% accurate and exactly the same size papers and it gives a very professional feel to the memo pads. 
And here is our first regular size memo pad all cut out and now it's time to glue it. By this time, the small mini pad is finished pressing and as you can see the edge is very straight compared to before and the pages are all attached nicely. I have gone ahead and finished gluing and pressing the larger notebook as well. So this regular size notebook is 4.5 inches by 6.75 inches and the small one is 3 inches by 3 inches. Here I am showing you how to upload the image using the iPad. So I'm using Cricut Design Space and repeating the exact same process as I showed you on the computer. This is the mini memo pad so the sizing will be 3 by 3 inches and 6 of these can fit on one page. So I'm going to go ahead and format that for each one of my designs. After printing, this is how they turned out, and I really love how I added the special detail with Sabrina's notes at the top. Again, here I am cutting the papers with the Cricut and alternating between mats. The difference this time is I have printed everything and I will be doing a mass cut and mass glue. The process is a bit hectic as I am designing, cutting, gluing, and pressing all at the same time to maximize efficiency. So here I am gluing the mini fast food notepad. And at the same time, these mini notepads have finished gluing and drying. And the Cricut will now move on to cut the baby pink regular size memo pads. This is how they came out after cutting and I'm very happy with the quality. While that finished cutting, my mini notebooks have finished drying and now it's time to put them in the press. Here I'm just folding scrap papers and putting it around the notepad so I do not damage the notepad with the larger clips. And here we're using the Mod Podge with thin layers again and then putting the clips on when we're done each layer, waiting 10 minutes for it to dry. While it's drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some logo stickers. After 10 minutes, take the clips off and repeat with another layer of glue. This process may take a little long, but make sure to be patient and use very thin layers and up to five layers of glue. I wanted to show you guys the final product. So here are the 10 notepads. There are five designs and there is a mini and large size for each notepad. So I'll quickly show you guys. This is the pink theme, and I'll insert a few pictures here so you guys can see too. This one is the tan themed with treats, and then notice here you guys can add your own personalization. So I added Sabrina's notes, 
so you guys can decide if you want to print your name or any text you would like to see. This is our light blue notebook with the clouds and moon and rain. Our fruit with the watermelon, lemon, and strawberries. Our fast food one in purple with the hamburger, fries, and pizza. You guys can get these notepads individually or as a set with the mini and regular sized and you guys can also get it personalized so make sure to check out these foam pads in the description below thank you so much for tuning in to today's studio vlog make sure to like comment and subscribe it really means a lot to me and see you next time bye